The sequel of the Smurfs takes place about three years after the first. Um, Patrick and Grace now have Blue, their son. They were worried about how they would parent uh, in the first movie, and now they're actively parenting a three-year-old son. Um, that's all going well. Uh, Gargamel is still in uh, the world. He's actually landed in Paris and is a master magician, um, actually just doing his Gargamel magic, but people think that it's fantastic uh, magic and he's a big star. Um, he, it turns out, is using his powers to create Smurf-like creatures, um, and his plan is to figure out from Smurfette how to get that blue essence so he can then use it to replicate more Smurfs, steal their blue essence. That blue essence provides him the power of his, for his wand, and then he can take over the world. Patrick's father had left when he was younger, four or five, and his stepfather had uh, moved in with him, uh, Victor, and he never got along with him for, you know, a number of reasons that I think a lot of people can relate to. And so he, in turn, is having the same kind of internal struggle uh, when Victor comes and joins the adventure and wants to participate in Blue's birthday. He doesn't feel like he's his son, and he doesn't really want him to be around, but I think learns through the process of this adventure with the Smurfs and figuring out who Smurfette belongs to, that it's not really who you're born into, it's who uh, is your family, you know? And that's a great lesson for, I think, everyone to remember. We're always playing with like um, another level of the movie that you can watch and appreciate as an adult, which I think is a smart call because hopefully kids will be wanting to watch the Smurf sequel multiple times at home. And so it's nice to uh, have the adults have something to sort of latch on to. And I think father-son bonding is always an interesting issue. Um, and it's played really well in this movie. Hank is just phenomenal to watch as Gargamel. He's such a smart, cool guy in real life. I've known him for a while, but to see him in that outfit just is, it's perfect. Like, you, you can't see the prosthetics. He gets those teeth in, and just every take is good. We did a scene out on the street, where at the very sort of climactic scene where he's gonna destroy us with his wand. And just everything that he does is like bold, funny, dark, and yet super on point and appropriate for kids and for adults. Like he's just, he's kind of masterful. I sat and watched him that night, two o'clock in the morning, you know, three o'clock in the morning, he's still doing these performances. And I think it's crazy that he's so talented. I mean, I think it's sort of underappreciated.